Hey, this is Veronica Wasik with 5-Minute Bookkeeping in my continuing series where I'm showing you how to diagnose QuickBooks Online. One of the first things that I do when I'm diagnosing my clients' QuickBooks Online is to check the bank accounts and, and specifically the bank reconciliations and any changes that have been made to the bank reconciliation. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you what I do. And I'll also show you the other steps that I do to diagnose my clients QuickBooks and specifically the bank accounts. Okay, so I am working with Modern Global. It is my sample company. From the dashboard, I will click Accounting and Reconcile. Okay, so we are in the reconciliation uh, section of QuickBooks Online. And one of the things that I first like to do is just to see whether all of the accounts have been reconciled. And if so, what was the last time that they were reconciled? So I normally would click on Summary. And I can see that there are two accounts. One is a bank account and one is a credit card account. And the last time that they were reconciled, was through December 31 of 2021. So at least I know the accounts have been reconciled. The next thing that I want to do is to look at the reconciliations to see if there are any old uncleared items. There's a couple of ways in which you can do that. One is to actually open the last reconciliation if it is a recent reconciliation. So I'm just going to click to, to open and view that. And uh, so here we can see the reconciliation report. And what we'll do is scroll down until we get to the section that says unclear checks and payments. And here we are looking for old uncleared transactions. And the reason we do that is because any old and uncleared transactions, any transactions that are in QuickBooks that haven't yet been cleared in the bank reconciliation are probably um, duplicates or mistakes. Since the reconciliation was done through 1231 of 2021, we can see here that there are a lot of old and cleared items because by now this is almost a year old, okay, for January. And then uh, as you can see, all of these other transactions are also fairly old. So here's an opportunity for cleanup then. We have to then research and find out um, why these transactions are um, still sitting as uncleared. And as I said, they're probably duplicates or they were invalid transactions. But this is uh, one of the biggest problems that, that we see is that even though you can reconcile the bank account, the, the account isn't really reconciled until you address and take care of all of these old transactions. That may mean that you will have to delete them or correct them, um, and it's all dependent on why those transactions are there. When we scroll down, then we also need to look for unclear deposits and other credits. So these are deposits that have yet to clear the bank, and again, we're looking for old balances. So again, um, all probably even this in December 15th of 2021 are all old transactions and we need to look into why they're still sitting there, research that and get it cleaned up. Most of the times I said they are just invalid transactions, incorrectly entered transactions and probably duplicates. Another way to check for uh, old and cleared transactions is to actually open the bank reconciliation. So I'm going to go ahead and open the bank reconciliation for statewide bank. I will click uh, either Reconcile or Resume Reconciling and make sure that I've selected all transactions here. And as you can see, we have a lot of old and cleared transactions. And you can see that by the date. So as I said, those have to be researched and they need to be cleaned up. The next thing that I do when I am reviewing the uh, bank accounts and bank reconciliations is to see whether there have been any changes made to uh, prior transactions that were already reconciled. So let's go ahead and do that. So going back to the reconciliation window, 
you'll normally see here where um, you'll get a warning and it'll tell you your account isn't ready to reconcile yet. And it's telling you that your beginning balance is off by a certain amount. And then it says we can help you fix this. So go ahead and click that. And this will show you the transactions that have been changed. So where, where the amounts have been changed or if the transaction has been deleted or if the transaction is, has already been manually marked as reconciled in the register. So then you have to look at these uh, transactions and determine what needs to be corrected. So in this case, for this particular transaction, the, uh, the reconciled amount was 11,817. Now the amount that's actually in QuickBooks is 18,192. There was a, a change made to that transaction. And it even tells you the amount was changed. You can even click to view that transaction. So for whatever reason, the, the amount was changed. So this amount needs to be uh, changed back to what it was, because that's really what reconciled. I mean, I would verify that in the bank statement, but uh, presumably that's the amount that was uh, originally reconciled. And so you would have to change this transaction to make it back to what it was. And then this particular error would go away. And then here's another where it looks like the transaction was marked as reconciled or an R was put by that transaction in the um, register. And, and so I would probably then go and unclick that R and get that fixed. Um, and so the idea is that there should be no difference, no difference in that beginning balance. Um, and that would make the this error not show up. Let's see if we have a similar error for the credit card account. So we don't, so that's great. We don't have an error. So this beginning balance is presumably the correct balance. Another thing that we want to do is to see whether any auto adjustments have been made to the bank reconciliations. And that would mean that the reconciliations were forced to reconcile, creating a reconciliation discrepancy. So we'll click on history by account. And then you can see um, if the account has been reconciled uh, since a, a year ago. You can take a look at that account and then go here to this column where it says auto adjustment and see if there are any amounts that were forced uh, to reconcile. So it looks like we don't have a problem with the credit card. Now let's go and look at the bank account and see here now we do have a problem with these uh, months that something was entered here to force the, the reconciliation to balance. In this particular case, um, usually what I recommend is reviewing that reconciliation. Most of the time, you likely have to unreconcile and re-reconcile or somehow, first I would really determine why um, that amount was forced to reconcile. Perhaps I can figure out why before I would start unreconciling months and months of reconciliations. But sometimes you do have to end up unreconciling and then reconciling correctly. Okay, so that concludes my review of the bank and credit card accounts, in particular the reconciliations and why, even though the accounts sometimes show they're reconciled, they're really not because you have all of those old balances that need to be cleaned up. I'm Veronica Wasik with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. If this content is helping you, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and like this video, comment, and uh, share this video with others. Bye.